Hey, welcome to day 19. Um, and today we're going to be talking about reincarnation. Sorry for the late recording. We just got home. Um, my bad, y'all. I was eating this um, Morning Star plant based burger. Hungry. But we just got home. We just invited um, to my old co worker's home um, to hang out. So we just getting here. Let me tell you what this child said to me on the way home. She goes, say, she was saying something to me. And I couldn't really understand what she was saying. But she goes, say to me, Ma, you need to go really go see a doctor. And I was like, why? And she was like, because you really can't hear. I'm a liar. This little girl, her smart mouth. But I thought that was kind of funny. But she get on my nerves. She always got something smart to say. I want to read a Bible verse to you guys. But my phone died. So... I guess we just jump right in. Reincarnation. By the way, it's freezing outside. Y'all see why I'm all bundled up? It's freezing. It was just 90 degrees last week. And now this week, it's like in the 50s. It might even be like 35 outside. It's freezing. I got my tea right here. Keep me warm. Woo. Yeah. But we talking about reincarnation. Do you believe in it? Do you think it really exists? Um I think it, it does. Um I only say that because um my mom was sick for a long time. Um she had a massive stroke when I was in elementary school. So after that, she she never worked again. Um, if y'all see me messing with my tongue and my braces, because I got food in my braces and it's bothering me, my bad, y'all. But she was sick for a long time. Um, and... She never worked again. Had diabetes. After a while, diabetes got so bad, she ended up having kidney failure and had to go on dialysis. But once I graduated from high school, I just, I never knew what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to travel. I don't know what it is, but I just like seeing new things. I, I know I always wanted to go, just go somewhere. I didn't know where, I just wanted to go. And I wanted to take my mom with me, but that was pretty much impossible because she was too sick to get a kidney. And with her being on dialysis, and she got to go every other day, it was pretty much impossible for her to be able to travel. Um, so I'm praying, I'm praying to God to heal my mom so that I can be able to, you know, take her places to see new things. And then I say about a year later. I got pregnant and the crazy thing before that while I was praying for God to heal my mom's body she kept asking me when I was gonna have a baby I'm like mom I don't know I, like I'm not even married I'm not thinking about no kids you know <gasps> Malia in here she just heard me say that <laughs> she just over here <laughs> Y'all should see her face. It's too funny. But, yeah. 
But honestly, I was 22. 23. Uh, I wasn't... Well, when she asked me, I was about 22. I was like, Mom, I'm like 22. Like, I need to live my life some before I have a kid, you know? I want to get married first, you know, and then be in my marriage for about two years to make sure that we right for each other. You know what I'm saying? Don't um, have a bad <laughs> So... I ended up getting pregnant, and my mom was so excited. Like, she went with me to all my doctor's appointments. She was with me all the time. And as soon as I had her, me? Uh, yeah, my mom was living with me at the time. And she would come in the room and be like, is she awake yet? I'm like, no, mom. But you can have her. Because, you know, I've been up all night anyways with the baby crying and breastfeeding her hey, and stuff. Mom. I can say that breastfeeding. Cat. That breastfeeding was legit the best. Because it's not like you got to get up and make a bottle. You just plop your titty out in the bed and just let her I go cry if you don't give me the bottle <laughs> she told me I should go cry if I don't give her the bottle this girl crazy but you know you just give her the boob and you can go back to sleep while she drinking the milk you know what I'm saying cause it's in your boob you never even had to get out of bed but you drink, that was awesome you drink That's with the, your boobs. the best thing about breastfeeding you drink with your boobs Oh my gosh, be quiet, child. But um, she'll come get her and keep her like the whole time and just let me sleep. And they'd be in there watching TV together. And she'll only bring it to me when she needed to eat or change her diaper. But six months after Malia was born, my mom passed away. And. They okay. say her it takes. Her still alive for a minute. Yeah, she was alive at first when you was first born. Um, they say it takes a kid, a baby, when they're like six months to get a personality, and it's crazy. My mom died right when she was like six months. Um, so. <sighs> that was a hard time for me. If I didn't have my daughter, I feel like I would have died with my mom. I was ready to give up on life. Don't give me. No, I'm not going to give up on you, okay? Um, but yeah, if I didn't have her... It would have been hard to continue to be here. Life was already hard. Um, but as Malia continued to grow and grow into her personality, she acted so much like my mom. And even though my mom left, I feel like she didn't really leave. I feel like God just put her in a new body. He answered my prayers. I said I wanted to be able to, you know, travel with her and do stuff for her. And now, <laughs> now I can do that for my daughter. Cause she. She looks so much like my mom. She act like her. It's just, it's like my mom in a, a little body. <laughs> Sometimes she thinks she my mom. She be bossing me around. I be like, am I the mom or are you the mom? <laughs> but I believe it's so. I believe if...
by some reason a person doesn't get to complete their mission that God has intended for them while on earth, he'll give them a second chance, which is a form of reincarnation. There's so many people that be like, oh, this child got an old soul. This child act just like such and such. I believe that's, that person didn't do what they were supposed to do the first time, so God gave them a second chance to do it before making this decision on, I guess, where they're going to spend eternity. Um... I know what Hindus they believe in reincarnation, um, but they they take it as you know people come back and be like animals or something like that. Your cat want to go out the room. Okay. Um, come back as animals or stuff like that. I don't know about the animal thing, but I do believe. Uh, you kill me! You stop killing me! She loud. Um, I do believe that. The, oh my goodness, Malia. Sorry, y'all. My child walking past the camera, moving in and stuff, didn't even warn me. But I do believe he might, you know. Every time a baby is born, he, if a person don't get to finish their task, he might give them another chance to be reborn. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you believe in it? Do you think it could happen? This girl is silly, I tell y'all. <laughs> she don't want me to tell y'all she's silly, but she is. <laughs> so, yeah. That's my story of why I think reincarnation is real. Um, people might have different opinions, different perspectives, but I think it's true. I've heard <clears throat> so many cases of like people coming back and remembering their other life. This might just be wishful thinking, but I feel like I, in my past life, was the real life Wonder Woman. Yeah, like who that is. Okay. The real life Wonder Woman, if you do not know, is Queen Calafia. Calafia? I might be saying her name wrong. Queen Calafia. I think that's how you say it. But California, the state, was named after her. She was on the island. Um, it was kind of like just how the Wonder Woman movie. It was an island full of just... Amazon warrior women and, and taking her. Oh no, she talking about it. But it was like warrior like, women. Um, she was the queen. Be, and you the queen. And um mm -hmm. this man that found the island was so impressed with her that he went back and Named California after her and all that stuff like that. If you uh, look at the California state seal, you'll see her picture in there. Uh, black woman. Um, yeah, I think that was me. <laughs> we black and brown. Because if you see her picture and look at me, we kind of favor. I think it's just the cheekbones, but we kind of look alike. We black and white. No, we black and brown. Yes, and they you, can tell we brown. You yellow and... I'm not yellow. No, dumb. 
Some you some is leather and white. Some is yellow and white. I don't think I ever saw a yellow person not unless they had jaundice. Ain't no white and leather. Like beige. <laughs> this child, she's silly. I don't know, but. That is um the conversation for today. Um I think I finished before my time is up. Let's see. Oh, I got like 14 minutes. Ooh, we we finishing real early tonight. This is more time. This more time? What you wanna talk about? Um more time is good for you to wake up. It's more time for you to see I can wake up in the morning. You don't wake up uh you eyes be red. Your eyes be red? If you don't wake up? Why is that? You but sleep forever. Oh. Like the star. Look, my burger back here getting cold, y'all. This is my plant based morning star burger. And then I got spinach leaves as the lettuce. <laughs> it's so good. <gasps> don't oh. try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Try it, y'all. Don't try it. Don't try it. Try it. <laughs> yeah. Don't try it. It's good. No, it's bad. It's called the spicy black bean burger. It is good. It's not good. It's not good for you. It is good for you. It's not, it's not but plants it's and vegetables. A vegan burger. The plants, that's right. She liked the burger. She just didn't like the way it looked. So she didn't want to eat it because of the way it looked. But she liked the taste. No, I didn't. Yes, she did. No, I didn't. Oh, my gosh. Get out of here, girl. Never. No. She thinks she's a baby. You see how she is in my life? Y'all see that? <laughs> she's trying to revert back to a baby. She keeps telling me every day, can I go back to a baby? I'm like, no, girl. You can't go backwards. You can only go forward. We we grow. We don't go backwards. Backwards. No, forward, forward. Backward, backward. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I love y'all. Bye. Thank y'all for tuning Bye. in. Bye-bye. I want to get back to my burger and drink my tea. Bye. So I can get ready for bed. Bye. Ah! Her trying to kill me. Don't believe her. Her trying to kill me. Her trying to kill me. Her hair is just so squishy and fat. Y'all see that? No, it's not. <laughs> they look I don't like, bring your duck. They look like love. Vienna sausages. I, I need to <laughs> break your thumb forever. Why are you going to break? Do you see that? She told me she's going to break my thumb, but I'm the one trying to hurt her. Get away from me. <laughs> she's violent, y'all. She's so fake. But I love y'all. See y'all tomorrow for our next topic. I know this is supposed to be 30 minutes, but, you know, some of these topics, you know, you get straight to the point. Some of them you can talk about for, forever, but today, I can not talk, for, talk forever about this one. But that's my thought process. What's your thought process on it? Leave some comments. Let's talk about it. I love to hear from you. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Bye bye. Bye bye. You look crazy. <laughs>